I am Tanmay Shafir Piyash. I am going to present Deep Learning based Bangladeshi license plate recognition system. Our paper ID is Q27. I am presenting on Fourth International Symposium on Multidisciplinary Studies and Innovation Technologies 2020. I am from Computer Science and Engineering Department, University of Asia. There are four other authors in this paper: M. D. Mizwa Sharif, Tanjila Hilali, who already presented a paper; uh, M. D. Shohel Rana Tutul, M. D. Naimur Rao. All of us are from. Department of Computer Science and Engineering, University of Asia. So we segmented our presentation into these sections. At first, we will go to the introduction. Then we'll state some problems in the current system. Then we'll state our research statement. Then we will give an overview of our Bangladeshi license plate. Then we will review the latest work in this field. Then we will propose our algorithm, and we will discuss in detail. Then most important part the. So the question is, what is deep learning based Bangladeshi license plate recognition system? So it is a system or it is an approach which can automatically recognize a license plate from real time video. So why do we need this system? In brief, we can say that if we want to build a smart city, we need this system. So. If we see that the, there there is a lot of traffic in the road because Dhaka is a mega city of the world and there is there is a lot of traffic all the time in the road, so we need a smart solution, uh, smart approach to manage this traffic. The first first step to solve this traffic is to implement an real time automated license recognition system or license plate recognition. So we have found three problems, three major problems. Manual control, traffic control, poor maintenance in toll plaza, poor surveillance in car park. So this is our research statement: a fully automated license plate recognition system using surveillance camera in a real-world scenario. We have implemented this for Bangladesh right now, but can be implemented for any country with a simple modification. So this is the overview of of our license plate. Uh, one of my colleagues already reviewed this, so I am not going into the details. So this is the important part: the literature review who uh, who work in this field and got uh, implemented this type of systems. At first, we can see that automatic license plate recognition for Bangladeshi vehicles it got 80% of accuracy, recognition accuracy. Uh, second was is, uh, is also like similar. It used artificial neural network and got 84% accuracy. Third one has implemented. The detection and recognition part. They implemented both sections and got it four percent. Fourth one uh, used CNN for recognition only, and they got eighty-eight percent accuracy. The fifth one is interesting. They used YOLO for three stages. Like we have three stages. Like one is detection, second is segmentation, and third is recognition. So they have used only YOLO for all the three segments, and they got ninety-two percent accuracy. And they introduced a data set uh, consisting of. 1500 images. The sixth one, which is the major, um, uh, the, uh, which has the highest accuracy of them all, and but this is only for recognition accuracy. They, uh, their major contribution is in the recognition part, and they introduce a data set with 2800 images, and they got 97.3 percent of accuracy, recognition accuracy. So we have found three major problems from these previous studies. First problem is there is no real time system. Second, lack of end to end system. There might be one, but uh, they don't perform that really well. And their performance degrades in the real world scenario. So we address these three problems for, from studying the state of the art or the recent studies in this field. So we want to solve this three problem and want to implement an end to end system in the Bangladeshi streets in the auto in the surveillance camera to automate the process so this is our proposed technique we feed the real time video and we use the detection process to detect the license plate and it segments the license plate from the video and gives it to the next stage in the next stage we use the segmentation algorithm the segmentation algorithm we are using uh, my fellow colleague already discussed about the segmentation algorithm that algorithm we are using here to build the total model or complete model and after segmenting the uh, characters we pass it to the cnn model for recognition 
then we get a recognized match. So this is our overall technique or proposed technique. For that, we introduce a data set of 2000 images and we collected a diverse data set to capture most of the real life scenarios which occur in the streets. And for segmentation, we didn't use any machine learning algorithm, we used a graph based algorithm. So there is no training or testing part. We used 200 images to test how it performs. And in the recognition, we use a subset of the uh, main data set for recognition, for recognizing the characters. So this is the example of our uh, example images from the data set we are using. The first one is captured with a low resolution mobile phone or smartphone. The second one, most of the images in our data set is uh, in form of second one because we implemented our camera where a surveillance camera can be installed. And the third one we can see it is in the night. Uh, so we have captured many nighttime uh, images. Fourth one is in the garage or in the parking site. Fifth one is also in the parking site, but very low amount of light, insufficient light. So we try to, there are may, many more variants. We just highlighted this five to represent our diversity of our data. So there are some more. Um, okay, so we can, we can divide our process into three steps, first detection, segmentation, and recognition. So in detection, we used YOLO version three. While, while we were uh, working in this research, YOLO version three was the state of the earth. So that's why we used YOLO version three and it is real time. So we can implement this total system in the real time with this YOLO version three. And this is the training specification of YOLO version three. I'm not going into the details because there is nothing much to say about it. But the important thing is we used 2,000 images in, to train this model. Uh, this is the output by after training. We can see that it can segment the license plate very clearly. Uh, in the second image, we can see that third license plate is uh, much more unclear. But the thing is, this issue can be solved because th that red vehicle already passed through the passed uh, passed through the surveillance camera, so it was near at some point. So that time we can segment this license plate and get a more uh, more uh, resolute image or other other approach can be that we if we install a uh, more robust camera or more big more camera more, uh, more uh, expensive or more good camera to get a good picture so there are some other uh, output uh, the second uh, the first one was taken from another vehicle so this this thing in this implementation means uh, police or the law enforcement can install a camera in, in front of their vehicle to detect the license plate. Second one represents uh, from the footpath where in where the surveillance camera can be installed. Third one is from the foot of our breeze where another camera can be installed. Fourth one is in the shadow place, so where the sunlight is insufficient. So we try to capture all capture the real life scenarios that happen. Uh, then go to the segmentation process. In the segmentation process, my colleague already discussed about this thoroughly. So I am going to just brief. Uh, in the segmentation process, we use a greedy graph-based segmentation technique to segment the characters from the license plate. There are four stages. In the four, in the four stage, we get the segmented characters. Uh, this is the mapping. It's actually work on BFS. So this is a modified version of BFS and uh, a modified version of connected components, actually. But uh, the mod, the Segmentation can be uh, segmentation can be done by other uh, other implementation also, but their complexity is uh, complexity is huge. But this is very simple and lightweight uh, segmentation process. So this is the result of segmentation. After segmentation, we pass all the segmented images to the convolutional neural network, and we gen we generate the data set from the segmentation stage. So this is the overview of our recognition data set. And we, all the classes are here. And we use a good amount of images to get better rank. And this is the CNN model we have used in our study. Uh, this is a vanilla and very simple CNN model only has four layers. Uh, we could have used more complex uh, implementation of CNN like ResNet or ImageNet. We already did and saw that there was not much improvement of the accuracy because the data set 
the recognition data set is not that much complex because you can i can say that we have a, we most of us know the mnist data set and written recognition data set they have 10 classes our data set is similar to that and have 30 classes so we don't need a complex model to recognize the segment so this is the results after detection and recognition we got 92 percent of accuracy in the detection part and 97.5 percent of accuracy in the recognition part and this is the highest accuracy accuracy in this field uh, and our data set is very much diverse and so that we can say that this is the uh, latest uh, latest progress in this field so our contribution if we summarize this is a real-time system end-to-end -end system relatively faster than existing system and we can capture license state in different angles we can capture multiple license plate from one images and license if the vehicle is far away or far in distance then we can also capture that with a highly uh, resolated camera and we also introduce most of the natural condition of light to get a diverse data so these are the major contribution in this research and uh, based on this research we can add more images like to, to capture the effect of climate such as rainy foggy and hazy and we can uh, also add the images of speedy vehicle when the license plate is blurry and the license plate can be occluded by another vehicle that can be reconstructed and of course we can always increase the efficiency and accuracy of the model so this is the future work based on our model and in the application we can say that in the first step is to identify the vehicle we can automate the toll plaza automate the parking and we can also uh, introduce we can also uh, introduce it to the law enforcement to build the secure smart city and we would like to thank the institute of energy environment research and development and the university of asia pacific for financial support so thank you and thanks to the references they helped us to, uh, to build this system and thank you this was all and is there any question you may ask thank you very much for your presentation uh, there's uh, the participants do you have any question about this article okay no question uh, i wish you continued success in your career uh, hope to see you